Hey you guys, I know that it's been a long time and I owe you an update, so I do apologize for um, how long it's taken to do this. I pretty much waited because I wanted a final determination. Um, for several weeks, it kept going like what my last update was. My HCG was rising, um, but not doubling, still an incredibly low number, um, didn't know what was going on. Uh, and I just thought, I don't want to keep like giving the same update. So. Um, basically, maybe about two weeks ago is the first time I got an ACG that started to drop. So it had kept rising, though it never got high. So by the time I was a little over four weeks past transfer, um, or I was exactly four weeks past transfer at my highest HCG, which only got to 415. So if you've followed HCGs at all, you know that's like totally not a normal number. Um, that was a Saturday. By that Monday, it had dropped to 305 or something. So that's when we knew it was starting to miscarry. Um, I did start spotting that day and um, I pretty much had a light bleed that week. I, I was lucky, if you consider any of this lucky, that the miscarriage was easy from a physical standpoint. Um, I didn't have any cramping. I pretty much just had what was like a period. No crazy flow. I didn't pass anything crazy. Um, but that was because the baby or the embryo just really never developed. So it made sense that it was it was light. Um, but that lasted for about a week. And um, I've now for about a week been normal. My last HCG, which was about five days ago was eight, so I'm almost down to zero. Once I am at zero, um, then it's pretty much just waiting for my period to come, and then we can move on to starting the next cycle. My doctor is pushing for a medicated cycle, um, not because she thinks there's anything wrong per se, she just, her philosophy is, if it didn't work, the cycle didn't work, we don't do the exact same protocol the next time. Um, which I guess makes sense, right? Like something was off, something didn't work, so we want to try something different. I'm still not like 100% on board with that idea. Switch hands here, sorry. Um, I just don't like medication. I'm not like yet ready to commit to the medicated cycle. I mean, in my heart, I think it's probably what's going to happen, but I'm not ready to just Go, okay yeah let's do it um, and luckily I've got time it can take anywhere from three to eight weeks for you to get your period after a miscarriage so um, you know I could be getting it in just a few weeks here or it could be like a month and a half from now so I don't know when it's gonna come and when I'm gonna have to make that decision but I'm thinking really hard about it it's gonna be hard it's gonna be a big call for me um, let's see what else I feel like that's that's kind of the update I I'm doing okay emotionally. I sorry, this is really shaky. Sorry. Um, I'm doing okay emotionally. I I think because this was like wonky from the start and it dragged out for so long, I sort of dealt with the emotions like a week or two before I miscarried. So I feel like the miscarriage to me was I already knew it was gonna happen. It was just a matter of when and I sort of like was just glad that we had a resolution and we could move forward. So I'm I'm doing good from that standpoint. Uh, obviously frustrated that it hasn't worked and sad that we lost our embryo. Um, but yeah, just kind of ready to move on, ready to, to get this show going. I, I'm really looking forward to having a baby, so I would like for it to hurry up and happen. Um, I think I said it before, I still feel like really surprised that we're having all these problems with the pregnancy part, that my fear was always about not getting enough healthy eggs and instead, you know, and that I would just get pregnant like instantly once we had those good embryos. And so I think this has been just more of like a, what the heck's going on for me? Um, Cause I just didn't expect us to have problems here, but um, everything's going really well. Uh, just, you know, waiting for my period so we can start over. I will definitely update you guys um, when we get to a point where something's happening again. <laughs> and anyway, I hope everything is well with you guys, and thank you for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon.